All right, if you are still looking to do some good this holiday season, you've got time to donate to Toys for Tots, but that time is running out. Our Alex Haskell joining us live this morning with more on that campaign. Good morning, Alex. Haley, good morning. The Marine Toys for Tots is an important campaign collecting new toys for less fortunate children during this holiday season. Now, the Wireless Zone is partnered up with the campaign this year, and there are several locations across the state currently accepting new toy donations. But as Lee said, time is running out. Stores in Bangor, Skowhegan, Newport and Presque Isle are all accepting donations through today and a location in Sanford is accepting donations until the end of tomorrow. Becky McManus is the marketing manager for the Wireless Zone. She says if you're not able to make the toy drop off deadline, you can still bring it in and they'll do their very best to make sure those toys get donated. If you're not comfortable with going inside a store, you can donate from home at toysfortots.org. I think this year, the impact of this campaign is even bigger than it ever has been. Um, it feels like we all need a little extra joy and this is a good way to give it and it's a good way to help the kids in our community receive a little bit extra this year when we've all had a pretty rough go of it in 2020. Last year, Toys for Tots donated more than 41,000 toys throughout Central Maine. The campaign is hoping to match that this year, so every child that needs a toy gets one. Again, you can find out how and what to donate at toysfortots.org. Live in studio this morning, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.